The U.S. men's national team is currently in the midst of their qualifying attempt for Brazil 2014. They're looking pretty good to make it, but this video is not about the next World Cup, it's about the World Cup's following. You see, the U.S. goalkeeper, Tim Howard, is looking set to retire pretty soon, probably after Brazil sometime. But anyway, he probably won't be playing in Russia 2018. So, who's going to replace him in the future? Brad Guzan will probably replace Tim Howard in Russia 2018. However, after that, America, you're screwed. Completely. You see, by the time 2022 rolls around, Brad Guzan will be 38 and probably pass, pass playing for the national team at that point. Now, many people will expect Sean Johnson and Bill Hamid to take over the reins of the national team at this point. This, however, is really, really silly. Sean Johnson inspired the making of this channel, and I will link to my more complete thoughts on him in the description. But basically, it can be summed up as... He's just... Not... Good. Like, he's actually really bad. Like, I don't know how people continue to defend him at this point. He's proved time and time again that he's incompetent. People keep being like, Oh, he's gonna be the future of the goalkeepers! He's gonna sign with Manchester United and just dominate. But no, that's not gonna happen. However, he takes crosses like a little girl, so obviously he's not gonna be starting material. Even though he is a pretty good shot stopper, though, he still seems to weirdly bobble these really easy shots. Like, he'll make a great save, and all of a sudden he'll do something really stupid. It's just he's not consistent enough to be a number one goalkeeper at a high level. So let's take a look at some of the dark horses in this race. Tally Hall is often brought up as one of the dark horses in this race, but he's always been decidedly... Meh. Steve Clark has gone overseas and done very well. In Norway. A... Cody Cropper I haven't seen enough of to form an opinion on, but this goal kind of makes me cringe. At 33, Nick Raimondo is already getting on in his career, and he's going to be even older by 2022, so I don't think he's going to be a long-term solution. Brian Sylvester is a very interesting case. The Whitecaps released Simon Thomas, who many figured to be their goalkeeper of the future, seemingly in favor of Brian Sylvester, and he was the third-string goalkeeper in their first season. However, he was released after making only one reserve appearance, so that's not especially promising. Zach McMath I actually like quite a bit, however, I don't think he has that extra gear that someone like Tim Howard or Brad Guzan has, so I don't see him reaching the same height that those players reached. So unless one of these players that I listed really steps up their game, or someone new comes in out of nowhere, the future looks grim for American goalkeeping.